Hey y'all, it's Haley, and today I have a fall essentials video. I have some food, some a couple um, beauty products, and then a couple fashion things. So this is just um, things I could think of that I like ups are like what I are my go-to like fall things that I could think of that I have right now with me. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with makeup. Um, so when I think of fall, I think of like more, like you can get away with more, um, eyeshadows and like, I love eyeshadow. I am not, I don't have like a huge makeup collection. I am kind of like more on the affordable like drugstore. I do like to venture out with higher end, but I wanted to share this palette that I recently got that is just the perfect fall essential like eyeshadow palette. It's really pigmented. It's from the drugstore and it's the Maybelline, the blush nude palette. That's what it looks like there. And it just has the best colors. They're really pigmented for the drugstore. And I just wanted to share because, you know, if you're newer into makeup or, you know, you're on a, a budget like most people are. I'm on a budget. Um, these are just the best color shadows. And that's what I'm wearing today. Um, it's just a really good palette. And they're all really wearable shades. You know how some palettes, they, um, there's always like a couple colors in there that normally that I would never wear. But all of these I will wear throughout the fall and they're amazing and it's like ten dollars and they even have like different things on the back that you can wear like different um ones you can put together to make a really good look so that's always helpful if you're really new into makeup I know that helped me when I was starting out okay and then obviously uh, lips I feel like you can get I'm not a big like lip person this is a lot for me right now but I feel like you can get away with more lipstick and I feel more comfortable in the fall time that I can pull off like darker lips um but these two that I currently have I don't actually own a lot of lipstick because I'm kind of like new in the lipstick department because I don't wear it often um but I actually mix these two together for the look that I have on right now and this one is from Clinique and it's called Raspberry Glaze and that's what it looks like it's just like it's kind of it's not super super pigmented that is it right there um, it's just like a raspberry color and it doesn't, it's not super dark on the lips so I like to mix it with like a redder color. Um, and this is from the, this is the Kate um, um, Lipstick by Rimmel and it's a really darker color. Um, this one I'll swap as well. It has a raspberry tint to it but it's much darker. So these two together are just the perfect combination for me. It makes it into like more, it's like still raspberry but it's just like a darker but it's not super like blood red if you know what I mean. So I really like these and they're really affordable. Clinique's kind of pricey but my mother-in-law gets deals on them and I get like a goodie bag with products so that's how I get that. But the Kate lip gloss or lipsticks are really good and you can get them anywhere because their Rimmel London makes them. So they're super affordable as well. Okay, and I feel like in the fall time, you really need a really good lip gloss or lip, like lip, lip balm or chapstick because the weather starts to change and your skin, your hair, your lips get drier. So you need something to really like keep it hydrated. Um, and the two I really like, I really love the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. Mine is almost out. This stuff is my holy grail. I use this actually all um, year long, but in the fall and winter, you know, when the when it starts, it's the when it starts like it's right right now it's 65 degrees out and I can already feel my skin like get drier and this just helps all the time. I put it on before bed. Um, I put it in the morning. I put it on before I put my lipstick on. It's just a really great all around great product and you can get it at the drugstore and it's just basically that's what it looks like obviously you know what it looks like but that's what it is and it has like a rosy tint to it so you can use it as like a little lip gloss during the day that's what I do swipe it on at work it it's awesome okay then another one which these things were so popular I think last year but it's the Nivea lip butter and this one's vanilla and macadamia kiss these are amazing I actually picked this up at Target the other day because I lost mine um, they make a couple different flavors or scents whatever but this tastes so good. It tastes so good on your lips. And it's just a white balm thing. And I love it. And then the last, like, beauty item. I feel like in the winter, or not the winter, this is fall, Haley. In the fall, 
you know, your my I have naturally like really dry hair as it is, but in the fall when it starts getting cooler, my hair just needs like more hydration put into it. And this product is the macadamia, uh, or Moroccan oil. Why did I say macadamia? It's not. It's the Moroccan oil, the original. This one is actually the light scent, which is for finer colored hair. Um, this is just a little small bottle. I use this year round, but I find that in the fall I need it a little bit more because my, when my hair starts getting dry, I need to like apply it on my ends and make them, it hydrates them and just locks them into place. And I feel like I use that in the summertime, but not as much in the fall because in the summertime it's so hot that I can't put, use very much because my hair will get oily really fast, but this just kind of like tames it down and I feel like it's an essential for me, for my hair in the fall time. Okay, and then I have, I'm going to save the food for last, but I have some fashion-y product. This flannel is, I feel like flannels are a definite essential in our wardrobe as ladies, men. My husband loves flannels as well. This one is just a red and blue one from Old Navy. I talked about in my Old Navy haul. I have a bunch of flannels, but my favorites are from Old Navy. I feel like they're, Old Navy is really affordable. They have so many different like selections of colors and styles. They have like the tunic long ones or they have like the shorter ones. This one is just like one of the average sizes. Um, so I feel like they're really good quality. I don't feel like Old Navy's um, clothes in general are always great quality, but the flannels I feel like last a good time, good while and they last through the wash and yeah, so I really like them. So yeah, Old Navy for flannels, that's an essential. And then I have another shirt that I actually, I don't think I've ever talked about it but this is like a chambray shirt and this is like the lighter chambray I also have a darker um, one but this one it's just a fall essential I love it I got it in a bigger size because I can layer it um, I can wear scarves over scarves with it and it just is a great piece for the fall um, you can wear it with like dark jeans or like black skinny jeans or anything it looks great with boots flats everything so it's an essential you can actually um, dress it up for work. I wear this. I have I bought a sweater recently that I'm gonna wear over Top of the the shirt and it just is a really like polished look so um, you can do so many different things with chambray So I definitely recommend Chambray shirts for the fall time And then I have two pairs of shoes obviously boots are an essential I didn't bring my boots from my closet to the floor where I'm filming but I like brown boots. I also just ordered a pair of grayish boots, which is like gray and beige. Apparently it's like a new essential element, essential element. Essential fall fashion shoes, fall fashion piece for the fall. So I just ordered a pair of those from Hazel and Olive Boutique. I will link their website below. They have an awesome boutique and they're based in Texas and I've ordered a ton of things off of there and you should go check them out. Okay, so, but two, anyways, I don't have those boots to show you because they haven't actually came yet. But, um, two, I feel like moccasins are just an essential, all essential. Um, these ones are just this brown, kind of like cognac color. And, um, these are actually from Kohl's. I got these, I think, one or two years ago. They're still going strong. They're so comfy, and they're the SO brand from Kohl's. Um, I almost was going to smell them, but that would be weird. Um, but yeah, I feel like these are awesome. They look good with leggings or skinny jeans or jeans or just around the house. I don't know. They're, I love moccasins and I want more moccasins. Okay, and then a pair of um, flats I actually got a couple months ago. These are just a nude pair of flats. And they kind of look plain, but they are so comfortable. And I really like the detailing on them. These are the brands um, Easy Spirit. I actually got them at Marshalls, I think I just said. Um, they're act Easy Spirit's actually a pretty expensive brand. I think I got them for $20 at um, Marshalls, which wasn't bad. But they go with everything. I wear them to work all the time. That's why they're kind of like worn out. But they are so comfortable. They have this like, I don't know if you can even tell. It's just super comfy and I highly recommend them. I wish I could find them in other colors because I want them in every color because they are so comfortable and nude goes with everything so I love that they can use more with black or brown or whatever so I love these nude flats okay and then I have some food items because we all know it's all about the pumpkin spice I love pumpkin spice lattes Starbucks is my favorite um, I don't think I really like Dunkin Donuts but I don't like their pumpkin spice it's just not strong enough for me um, but yes pumpkin spice latte 
is my jam like every girl in this world and um but i recently got this actually this is my second thing this is the um chazo chai pumpkin spice latte and i actually got this at target um this is my second thing it comes in like 32 fluid ounces and it's $2.99 at Target. You should really go get it. It's so delicious. What I do is you just mix, um, you blend with milk. So I either use skim milk or almond milk. I do equal parts of the pumpkin spice and then equal parts of the milk. It's so good. You just, you can put it, you can cook it on the stove or cook it in the microwave. I just usually put it in the microwave and it's so good. I had like two cups this morning. It's so delicious. And it kind of saves money so I'm not having to go... Because I, in the fall, I feel like I have to go get a pumpkin spice latte often, and it kind of adds up. So that stuff is just kind of like my... I try to not go to Starbucks so much, because that's only $2.99, and it lasts me like a good week. So go check it out at Target. And then, of course, apple cider is just an essential fall item. Me and my husband love apple cider. This is just like, I don't know, we got it at the grocery store. It's the lighthouse gala apples 100% apple cider and not concentrate that's what it looks like we drank a good amount i like it hot and cold my husband likes it as i said so it's an essential in our household and then i have some oreos which are caramel apple oreos and they're in a plastic baggie because i ripped a hole in it um but they're so good i like caramel apple oreos my husband does not like them but they're so good and I, I'm obsessed with anything limited edition like if it's like a limited edition Oreos limited edition bread I have to have it in my life so because I don't have a problem like I probably won't eat all those Oreos but I just had to have them because they're limited edition and I like caramel apple okay and then another thing and this is like all junk food I know but I don't know I just have to have it I'm telling you this is the these are the pop tarts and they're the pumpkin pie ones Seriously though, I hate Pop-Tarts besides those. I don't like Pop-Tarts. I know they're super unhealthy for you, but those are legit good and yeah, they're just so good. I really don't like Pop-Tarts. I know they're super unhealthy. My husband tells me how unhealthy they are all the time, but those are just really good and like toasted, they're just amazing. So that's that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too sporadic. I have some great ideas for future videos, so I'm kind of getting back in a groove and swatches on my hand. Um, I hope you'll have a great weekend and please let me know down below what your fall essentials are and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!